Fora TV. The world is thinking. Jack is correct to point out that not too long ago, we lived in an ownership society. Investors pursuing their own interests kept everyone honest, at least theoretically. Today, he notes, we are living in an economic world in which the real owners have to rely on agents to represent them, agents that are too often faithless in performing their duties. I like the idea of an ownership society. So did George Bush, who tried to make it a pillar of the governing philosophy he was promoting. He was right to see this as a liberating idea. Every man under his fig tree, an owner of his home and his social security account, free of the demands of landlords or the changes in government policies. Like the Clinton administration before him, Bush tried to increase home ownership by distorting the credit process. Through the Community Reinvestment Act and Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, two government-sponsored enterprises, that is, backed by the federal government, uh, both administrations tried to force banks and Fannie and Freddie themselves, to make loans they would not otherwise have made. When Fannie and Freddie appeared on the scene as deep-pocketed buyers of subprime mortgages, the business boomed. Between 2005 and 2007, they bought $1 trillion worth of subprime and Alt-A mortgages. Today, there are 25 million bad mortgages on the books of banks and other financial institutions all over the world, and they are defaulting at unprecedented rates. If you want to know what caused the financial crisis, it was not greed, it was not fail faithless agents or stock speculators or greedy and irresponsible managements. It was government policies that mandated the creation of low-quality mortgages in order to drive up home ownership rates.